Are you looking to make your website following the newest cookie consent rules that Google recently implemented? Then I get you covered in this video where I explain step by step how you can make your website compliant today. I've recently implemented this for our 25 Google Ads clients and they are all compliant right now. Make sure you watch until the end to follow my strategy correctly. So you will not lose potential client and data from your website. My name is Robin and I'm here to help you with my five years of e-commerce knowledge. The good thing about this solution is that it's approved by Google. This implementation will also make sure that the visitors on your website still have a good experience without losing the trust. All the links that I show in this video can be downloaded from my free e-commerce knowledge center and I will also implement all links in the description. All right, without further ado, let's dive right into my screen so I can explain everything step by step and you're compliant today. So before you apply the strategy, what I'm going to explain in this video, you will probably have a warning in your Google Ads account that looks like this. You need to verify the data consent settings and you will also face an error right here. Um, what you can see under um, the admin part and then data streams. When you click on the data stream, you have also two errors here. Uh, the ads measurement consent signals are not detected. And here the personal ads uh, consent signals are also not detected. And after fixing the implementation in this video, the error disappears in the Google Ads account and your Google Analytics will look like this. You have two green check marks here, what means that your website is compliant according to the newest cookie consent rules and you can collect data as soon as people click on accept for the cookies. So in this video, I will show you exactly how we're going to do this. So this is the app Pandectus that we're going to install for uh, the compliancy for the Google Ads Cookie Consult. Uh, if you click on the link in the description, you end up on the page like this. Uh, here you click on install for your Shopify website. Uh, here to save you time, I've already installed it in one of the shops we, that we run Google Ads for, for one of the clients, and it looks like this. So you can pin it on the right, left side right here. Uh, what you want to do is to not activate the banner yet because we first need to make sure that we have the right settings in order to not disturb the potential customer on your website and give them a smooth experience so they accept the cookies. Because if they don't accept the cookies or they don't give any reaction, the Google Analytics will not trigger the behavior on the website. Whereas if we push the people to accept the cookies, we are able to track them and Google keep track of everything and build the audiences inside the Google Analytics. So it's very important to realize how to set the settings right. And that's why I'm going to explain this exactly here in this video. So to install the right settings and to give the user on your website a great experience, we need to make a few tweaks inside the settings, what Pandectus also recommend from their customer service. So to do that, we're going to uh, settings to banner right here. And we make sure that under behavior and banner type, we make sure to select the preferences and then strict only. Also, we uh, click here on accept, so at least one button must be enabled. So we are also scrolling down and make sure that this X is unchecked. So people cannot click on the X when it shows the banner, right? If you make any changes, you press save right here. And uh, for the next part, we are going to the styling of the banner. And we want to make sure that for the layout and the position of this banner, it's at the bottom of the page. Otherwise, it's going to interrupt the menu and therefore the user experience is not good. So once you enable the bar on the bottom, you can click the save and that is already it. So as a last step, you want to go to integrations right here and you want to make sure that uh, this one is selected. The second tab that you already installed the tag manager or Google Analytics and you implement the, your analytics code. So in this case, it's Google Analytics 4. So after a while, around 30 to 48 hours, you can go back to the Google Analytics and see that your uh, cookie consent mode is accepted as I showed you with the green check marks before. And in case if you didn't install the Google Analytics yet, you can go here to online store. You can go here to the three dots, implement edit code, go to the team.liquid and you can copy and paste the code from Google Analytics here. Now we already did it, so we don't need to do it again. Then you press save and you can go back. Now we're in the Google Analytics. If you want to see your Google Ads tracking number, you go to data streams, you click on the data stream and here you see your measurement ID. So if you go back, you copy this one, you go back here to the Pandectus compliant rule, you go back to settings, 
you go to integrations and then you are able to copy and paste your Google Analytics code right here. Make sure to save it. And then after a while, these check marks will be green and you know that you are compliant according to the newest Google Ads rules and the Google Analytics rules as well to generate all the potential analytics that you need in order to optimize your stores for conversions from Google Ads. And one thing I would like to recommend to you as well is that you need to go to plans and take the cheapest plan what they have. So I prefer to do monthly and you need to activate the $9 a month uh, application. The reason for that is that this application uh, charges small fee to install all the things on your website, right? And in exchange for that, you don't need to learn any code or anything like that. They also have a customer service available to check for your website and things to optimize. So make sure to ask them questions after installing all these things. And the difference between the free method is that for the free method, you need to know more about code. So you need to install the Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics code and everything yourself. It takes around a few hours and it's quite technical. So therefore I highly recommend to use this application to make it as simple as possible and also to have future updates, right? So if the Google rules change in the future, apps like this will update everything according to the newest rules. Whereas if you apply the same code uh, yourself, you're not updating if the rules update. So make sure to invest in this a little bit a month to be prepared for future updates as well. And this wraps up the video for today. If you find this video valuable, make sure you put a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. My name is Robin and it was a pleasure to guide you through the video today. And if you want to learn more from my e-commerce knowledge, make sure to watch the recommended videos after this one. I see you in the next video.